Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about my personal program for April, progressing into May 2022. We're going to call this getting back on track. I went on a business trip, and it was supposed to last about 10 to 14 days, and it ended up lasting five weeks. So I got way off of my previous program. If you watch our previous program videos, I was working on double long cycle, and half marathon kettlebell snatch. And we had an elaborate plan to work on those two things. I have to do it a little bit differently than a lot of people do because I have very severe injuries to my knees and double long cycle and snatch are, can be hard on the knees when you push them into extraordinarily long periods of time. So we built a plan to make sure our technique was good so that we could survive the training better for longer periods of time. But we're gonna get back on track now. We have a lot of things to accomplish in the next couple of months, so we're gonna fall into a pure Tetris of training idea. The first thing that we need to work on is recovery. We need to recover from our trip. On the trip, we had access to a CrossFit gym with a limited number of kettlebells, which put us way off of our kettlebell program, and 15 pound mace, and that was it. What we need to focus on first is a basic recovery strategy. This is something I do every time I travel. I take some time at least twice a week and I focus on 30 minutes of single arm heavy club with either 30 second sets or one minute sets. I like the one minute set better and I want to build up using our ADEX adjustable club system from 20 to 30 pounds over the course of 10 workouts. So that should be about five weeks. We haven't done this single arm training in several months now. We've kind of pushed it way to the side to focus on double long cycle, but we have a lot of travel coming up over the next several months and single arm club and ADEX adjustable club system is an ideal way to travel because you can get a lot out of a small amount of weight in a small amount of space. So we're gonna set a timer for 30 minutes with one minute time under tension intervals, and we are going to start cycling through 15 different variables. We're gonna start with all the basics, inside circle, outside circle, shield cast, and then we're gonna add complexity every two minutes, left and right, until we get to our 30 minute mark. Every day we do this recovery training, it will be different, and it will get slightly harder every time, both in weight and complexity. The second thing we're gonna work on is body weight training. We have several body weight programs coming out. I started to work on this while I was actually traveling. That's the point of these body weight programs, is when you are away from equipment, you can work on our body weight programs. I wrote this idea several years ago, back in like 2018. I was working on a movie, uh, Wonder Woman 2 in DC for several weeks. And I noticed that several of the people who were working on the movie were having trouble doing things that they needed to do, like get up off the ground under stress. So I designed 14 programs each one focused on an individual type of movement that I saw that people needed to be able to do, but all of those movements all still apply to normal people. They're basically all versions of getting up off of the ground fast and efficiently and for the purpose of fighting. So we filmed part of the first six of those ideas, and it'll be like Krav Get Up, Krav Get Up to Judo Get Up, um, a screwing push-up program, and just a general introduction program. And then we're gonna apply three different formats to each one of those things to create 18 total programs. It should be 18 months of programming. What we're going to do is finish shooting this over the course of the next couple of months. We have to do the explainers and all the other things in order to make this make sense to people. And the coaching cues, what's the important part when. These are Body weight, by body weight, I mean just a floor. No pull-up bar, no nothing. The absolutely no equipment idea. You're in a field, you're in a hotel room, you have absolutely nothing. This is the training that we're writing for that. The protocol that we use for this also tends to make people sexier fairly quickly because you're pushing your own limits every day just a little bit and recording it, which is a requirement for attractiveness training. Then we're gonna shove back in double long cycle at least twice a week. We're gonna to have to Tetris it around everything else. We're pushing ourselves up to a 40 minute mark. One minute of work, one minute of break, 10 reps per minute, 20 total sets for a total of 200 reps. I'm working on building up my volume so that I can eventually work on a half marathon. 
I have to take breaks for now to make sure that my knee is working properly. I'm also for now dropping weight because I took five weeks off. So we're gonna drop back down in weight, but we're gonna go up faster. So we're gonna do 12, say 14, 16, back to 18, and then we're gonna start going back to our super small one pound jumps on each side or 1.1 pound half kilogram jumps on each side and work on our volume for double long cycle. Also, we're gonna throw in some Mace 360 because I haven't been doing this in a while now with a heavy weight. I've been using a 15 pound light mace I now have back my 8X adjustable club system and mace, and I wanna rock this bad boy up as heavy as we can possibly get it and work on 10 minute sets in some way. We'll talk more about this design later. And I would like to put in Turkish get-ups, once again, because it is a short block of time. Short block of time, short block of time, long block of time, intermediate to long block of time, 30 minute block of time. These two are meant to float. They're meant to be evening workouts after I've done everything else in the day. Morning workout, morning workout, morning workout, shoving in mace and Turkish get up at the end of the day, just for fun. We can turn these into 10 minute programs, time under tension, but I haven't been doing Turkish get ups for several years because I've been focusing a lot on double long cycle or single long cycle the year before where we were building up towards 60 minutes. Now we're building up towards a lot of numbers here, but this is relatively light kettlebell. I would like to have a heavy kettlebell in there somewhere. So we're gonna make it Turkish get up. We have our competition adjustable kettlebells, which will be traveling with us from Kettlebell Kings. And they will go in the back of the truck when we go to work on the filming for our body weight training. And I wanna have something that's heavy just for fun, just to make it more entertaining. So intermediate weight, no weight, lightweight, heavy weight, heavyweight. And we're going to Tetris this however we can in order to accomplish the task. This twice a week, this twice a week, this twice a week. This we're going to try and get in four days a week and recovery training at least twice a week. So every day will be different and that will turn this into its own crazy program just for fun. This is a pure Tetris of training idea. We are not going to lay it out on an A, B, A, B, C cycle of any type. We just know what we have to accomplish in a week and we're going to check it off once it's done, and we're going to get all of it done every week. For now, in about a month and a half, we're gonna to have to jump to another type of program again, which will be heavily focused on body weight and hydrocore, but we'll talk more about that in the future.